I have been a voodoo priestess for 30 years in New Orleans. I was born in the countryside of Mississippi. I were baptized under the Baptist order. And I was ordained in my ministry in Chicago in 1982. How long have you been here? Oh, in this spot, three years. Oh, really? Yeah. But in New Orleans, 30 years. Wow. And you know, find voodoo, voodoo find you. The word voodoo is God. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and write a book now, because <laughs> New York was... Gina was born in New Orleans, and her family is native of New Orleans. The curator at the Voodoo Museum brought her to me. This is a story. We thought I could be a conduit for her to ground herself. Oh my gosh, look at there. Pharaoh. <laughs> I noticed that every time they come here, the first question people have when they walk through the door is, what is voodoo? So I can't imagine what that's like trying to answer that every single day, yeah, all day. It's, well, it's a word that is somewhere with a lot of distraction or an abstract seminar floating in the air to me. It's like this word just keeps floating. Voodoo is like this big ship with a lot of sails, but no foundation. To, to anchor the sails on. With the wind. Yeah. <laughs> I, have a, I want your opinion on something. Yeah. You see people dancing, they hear voodoo, they hear party, they want, it's very hedonistic, it's drumming and all of that. What could we do or what needs to take place for people to become more aware of the medicinal and the healing aspect of it? Because I think it's Voodoo is empowering yourself to become more uh, of an enhanceable person to rise beyond improvident situation. The Voodoo, God, is the will of every man. And if your willpower is searched, then you're not going to come suppressed to the circumstance. You see ways to advance beyond it. Have you been making your dolls? No, I keep dreaming that I would. Yeah, I'll take this too. Nancy been coming to me, what, over 20 years? She were interested in getting a private consultation just to get some clarity with her experience of life. I provide counseling and guiding. That is the base of what you can do. Okay, young lady. So, like Clint Eastwood said, that sometimes always a little unsettled things get into the good of things. And that means that there could have been uh, someone in your family that went through some health issues or... Just recently, some, yeah. Some losses or... Yeah. Um, not major, but she was ill. Mm -hmm. The bones is a tool that you have to offset the client that he can hear clear. <laughs> That's a great feeling. <laughs> it helped me to see the person and the person's thoughts and his emotion. And that helped me to bring thoughts, ideas, to help bring the person over his situation. So now, I'll let you ask the other question. I guess most importantly is health for the coming year. Oh yeah, health. You're not a victim of circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> Many people want to know if you do healings, but when you give people some creative thoughts and bring inspiration into their soul, that takes on toward healing. And uh, created opportunities on that for you and David. And, That's great. And he's going to make enough money for the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs>
players a really diverse measurement of humanity that comes to my shop. People who really is in dull struggle for their well-being. I have different tour guides that bring people that comes from every country pretty much. You get back to the personal insight, maybe that's what God is. So if you don't have that personal insight to see how to create a wellness in the human body, Voodoo called me to New Orleans to have an establishment. The house to assemble the greater thought pattern then. I graduated and I worked 11 years in surgery. I don't have any set thing that I would want a person to learn. I want them to be more observant of what has come to be. I want people to see a soul that has risen from the cotton fields of Mississippi with my families, and that through all of that time that people look back and say it's inferior, the inferior energy brings about a more greater complexity of a mind to rise and become more assimilated and never to sit and feel years of drifting and complaints and weariness of this self. Whatever I have attained over my years is to be a legacy to the humanity that can find it. Not so much about me. Yeah. Oh, man, no. <laughs> I, okay, bye-bye.